How has Tim Drevno affected you guys, made you guys better? I mean, obviously, there's a huge jump from the year before to this year. How has he impacted you guys personally? Uh, one, he's just an awesome guy. He's a great coach, uh, great dad, great role model for us to look up to. Uh, secondly, he's an awesome coach. And, uh, you know, he's a guy who doesn't accept mediocrity. He doesn't accept anything unless it's exactly what he wants and what's going to help the team. And uh, just the way he coaches us just makes us work super hard. And uh, I'm not really sure what it is. It's just, it's just the way he is. And it's the same thing with Coach Harbaugh. Just something about him just makes you want to do, makes you want to do well. And it's, it's good for us. Are you uh, – just the level of excitement. You talked about the weapons that you've been given – and the way things have grown since that first game, it just seems like, you know, a lot of people had BYU as a coin flip and the way it turned out. Just talk about your level of confidence in the things you're doing right now. Uh, personally? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just playing, I'm just playing well. You know, I was, I was saying to a guy in the hallway, just, you know, lately for whatever reason, I just, I've been playing football the way that, the reason why I started playing football, and that's because, I like to uh, be physical, I like to hit people, and I like to have fun. That's, that's fun for me. And uh, so going out there, but also at the same time, you want to do it in a way where you're successful and you want to do it in a way where people are going to watch you and say, wow, like he's doing it, he's doing it good, like we want to do it like that guy. And so that's another reason why I've been trying to, not recently trying to, but just for, for whatever reason it's been happening, it's just been happening for me lately, and it's been, it's been a good feeling. And then also as a team, I mean, the way yeah. the defense played Saturday and, and just how this thing's coming together. Yeah. Uh, I think the, well, the, a huge thing for the defense, too, is that if we stay on the field and, like, um, I mean, what was, what was the stat, like double time possession or something like that? So, you know, that is huge for our defense. If they can stay on the sideline, we can hold the ball as long as possible. They get out there feeling fresh as heck. And uh, you know, flying around, and we get out there, we start grinding. I mean, that's, that's what you want in a football team. That's what we need to do. And uh, the confidence that we have, is it's growing and it's going to keep growing. It's, yeah. You guys talked a lot about the last two seasons about the improvements that you you saw and the improvements you thought you were making. What's it like to finally see some some results, some in terms of rushing yards or or, or the score wins, scores, anything like that? It's nice. I mean, it's it's the reason reason why we're all here. Uh, it's the reason why I came here. The reason why a lot of the guys came here. And uh, you know, they're always talking about see, like, being behind Davion, watching them. Dude, I mean that was that was like a, that was like a Heisman type run, and, you know. Watching that happen, I mean that was just an awesome moment for me. And uh, when I saw him in the end zone and embraced him, that was a good moment for both of us. And it just it just feels good. It's the way it's supposed to be. The last looking at that Utah loss a little bit differently now with everything that they've, yeah. they've done. In hindsight, not losing that game, but the way you guys lost <laughs> that game, does it actually, it actually grab like? Was there any positive residual effect of kind of a wake up call or whatever could have come from that? Yeah, I mean, it definitely, whenever you play a game like that, you know, uh, and we easily could have won it. We easily could have won that game. But it's a good thing. You know, they say the most improvement is done from the first week to the second week. And, you know, having, it, having it an early game in the week gave us even more time to come back out and fix things that were wrong. And whether that was schemes or the way we were playing, whatever it was, we just went back, started working hard as soon as we got back, and it's been paying off. It's been paying off.